So this video is a tutorial on what a repository is in GitHub, uh, how do you use a repository, and how do you navigate a repository both locally on a computer as well as on the GitHub website. Uh, if you're looking for a workflow or how do you actually uh, use GitHub once you've made a repository, you can find a link in the description down below. So uh, let's talk about what exactly a repository is. Uh, a repository is basically a file of some sort of online and local storage of all of your code uh, throughout your project. It could include images, it could include text, it could include Python files, HTML files, CSS files, whatever it is that you're programming. Um, and it's a space where you can store all of your work. Uh, so when you're, I'm gonna use GitHub Desktop because I find it's, it's really accessible uh, as a project. So I'm gonna open up desktop, uh, GitHub Desktop and I'm gonna choose File, New Repository. And inside the repository, you have to give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna be calling it a test repo. You cannot have any spaces uh, in your uh, repo name. You have to use underscores or dashes. Uh, description, in this case, um, a, whatever it is you're actually working on for your project, it could be robotics, projects, whatever have you. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to call this one a test repo for tutorial. And then your local path is where it's actually stored on your computer. So I'm going to choose a separate uh, local path. I'm going to go into my documents. I'm going to go inside, generally stores inside a GitHub folder. And I'm going to uh, just go ahead and choose open here because it's going to make a folder called test repo inside your GitHub folder. I'm going to initialize this with a readme. That's effectively some sort of uh, doc markdown documentation file. Uh, your git ignore, you can have it ignore certain files if you don't want them to come in. We'll come back to this later. Uh, especially for Mac specifically. And then your license is um, if other people are going to access this repo, uh, what access do you want them to be able to have? I'm personally choose MIT license. Um, and then you can see this repository is going to be created at users, bprat, document, github, and then test repo as a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and choose create repository. And now if I come into my documents folder and go inside github, you'll now notice that I need to have a new folder called test repo with a license for the MIT license as well as a readme.md. Um, now, there are currently no local changes inside my repo. Let's go ahead and add in a quick file. So maybe I'll open up a text edit print. Hello world. Save it over. Uh, and now you notice that any new changes that I've added in are now showing up in green and it's got a nice little green plus file any things inside of my repo. Uh, now this repo only exists locally on my computer. I have not actually published this repository up to GitHub. So if I were to sign into my GitHub account, I would not have a repository called test repo currently. Um, in order to do that, I need to actually public my repository. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish my repository. My name is test repo, it's description. I'm going to keep this code private currently. And I'll go ahead and publish this. And what publish does is actually shares it up onto GitHub. So if I were to go to a repository and say view on GitHub, you'll now notice that I have my license, my readme.md, and my test repo. Um, but you'll notice that my hello pi is not actually on that repo because I haven't actually made a commit yet to this repo. And what a commit does is it might be saved locally to your computer, but it's not actually saved on remote yet. Um, so I'm just going to give a description name, create hello pi, and my description is test file added. I'll commit this to my master branch, and then I will push my origin. And when I push it, that is what actually puts it up onto remote. So if I were to view this on GitHub now, sorry, repository view on GitHub, now you can see that I actually have my hello.py file inside my Git folder. Now, one last thing uh, for your repository that you're going to want to know to do um, on uh, uh, a Mac computer is you're going to want to add in an ignore file. So I'm going to choose the repository, repository settings, and ignored files. I'm going to put in asterisk, asterisk, backslash dot ds underscore store. This is a file that's get added. Uh, it's a hidden file on every single Mac finder window. Um, and uh, it's effectively lets your computer know when the last time you accessed that finder window was. We want to ignore this file because otherwise you're going to start getting a lot of changes inside your repo um, that are not actually changes to your code and it's awfully annoying to have to send a commit every single time 
uh, this DS store file was being updated. So I'm gonna create a git ignore. I'm just gonna say ignore temporary Mac OS files. We'll commit that to my master branch. We'll push my origin. And now if I view this on GitHub, go back to my test repo. I now have a git ignore that includes my DS store. So that's it. Uh, that's how you create your repo. That's how you publish things up to GitHub. We'll get a little bit more in uh, further tutorials about what exactly changes and history um, mean. But I hope that helped and uh, best of luck with your programming project.